want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. One that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Enough! I didn't come to hear you bickering. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> my patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters, artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now, free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? The life you've led here is over. I've met the Mother of Dragons. She won't open the pits again. If you want to fight, we offer gold and glory. Amaya, the way I left was terrible, I know. But we were friends once, and could be again. Please. Set aside your anger and listen to him. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. We'll have to kill him. It'd be a shame to waste such a talented fighter. Perhaps if I just subdued him. No one has ever subdued him. Hmm. Right. Well... Suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you look after my uncle? 
Your uncle needs looking after as much as I do. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerose? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did! I kill no man because Round of one, order. fight! I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine! Look, this wasn't my choice. I'm not here to kill anyone. Well, we all know that's true. <laughs> oh. uh. It's not what I meant. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this. <laughs> Look at the cockroach crawling in the dirt. We all know there's only one way to deal with insects. <laughs> Right, little insect, scurry to your home. That's no weapon worthy of blood song. Ready your ears for the song of blood. Don't know what the fuck that means, but I'm gonna have to refuse. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. At least try to hit me! Are you sure you don't want to surrender? Oh, shut up! Last chance, Westerossi! This is your last weapon, and... Ready? Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours will be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. Rosie! 
intend to. Look at this terrified boy. He fears his end. Come on, Soul Calibur, this As guy. he should. <laughs> yep. have it back now. Oh, he pulled it out of his leg. Very nice. Yep. Subdued. Nice. out unimpressed oh shit they're unimpressed interesting the masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died but as you can see I'm not here to be your master sure. I chose you for a reason you're true warriors Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll fight for a higher purpose. To save innocence and murder the guilty. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! I knew them! What are those things? Oh, God, get over here! Over here! Killed! Wait, 
Where's Finn? He was over there! Finn! They're everywhere! We make for the North Grove! But we need to stick together! I hope you're right about this, Garrett. We are totally going to see Finn later on. Yeah. It's totally going to happen, that's a thing. Meanwhile, in King's Landing. Your Grace. Oh, oh. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Are we doing phrases? Certainly you've been here before. That was You looked rather poster. confused when you came in. As if you didn't know where you were. Yes, Your Grace. I'd like to think we can be honest with one another. Uh oh. However, you're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet... You're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Well... Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaid? Oh boy. One can Does never tell with you the, northern girls. Stamp, Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It only matters what you think, Your Grace. Don't try my patience. Uh. She doesn't like that. Insincerity will only make matters worse for you. Be brisk with her. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. <laughs> How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I asked a friend to help me. I see. Then you're not above using people to get what you want. She just doesn't like anything you Good. Say. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? Because my It all seems dangerous. rather careless. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. She's been saying the same thing this entire It was period. crucial I attend. Yeah. Your family. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. Well, you bone your brother. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. Oh, oh. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's Good more answer. often than that. Good answer. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl. Yeah. And perhaps you can help me. What do you need? Your grace. You're quite friendly with my you brother this up for... I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who oh. he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Oh, interesting. Consider it a favor to the crown, for which we will all be grateful. I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to Don't hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. Are we going to throw him under the you bus? You may prove to be or a just bring back something to tell her, to I think. Assuming you do as you're told. Yeah. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Okay, yeah. We just Thank you, Your Grace. From. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. Oh. Back when she had hair. I'm gonna get myself some food. You should. 